a dangerous intersection near Donna is causing concern for some residents. Yesterday, a driver lost control and crashed into an orchard. DPS says a vehicle caught fire, but the driver made it out safely. Channel 5 Stephen Saravia went to the intersection. He joins us in the studio with what he saw. Stephen. This intersection is just north of Donna on Victoria Road in mile 10. We saw firsthand just how dangerous it can get. It's a site Barry Garretto is all too familiar with. This is where we have had a lot of people get hurt there. Garretto tells us the intersection near his home is no stranger to crashes. Just yesterday, a car crash landed feet away from Garretto's front yard. I have family. I have my grandchildren, my people, my daughters and my sons. and. I always worry that somebody might just, you know, uh, hit them. We wanted to know just how often crashes happen in that location, and we're able to do so on this TechStop website. We just pinpoint the intersection, and we can see just how many crashes they have on record. According to that report, this intersection has seen 10 crashes within the span of about a year. But anytime you have one or two accidents a month, it's just too many, I think. One of the things which concerns Guerrero is something we saw when we first arrived at the intersection. While there are caution lights, they don't appear to be working. He feels without these lights, it makes it even more dangerous, especially at night. There's a lot of people that just uh, speed. You know, they, they drive too fast. It's a 30 mile speed limit zone here. While living here for over 40 years, Guerrero tells us it hasn't always been like this. It wasn't all that bad, but as the population increased, all the colonials and all that, why the traffic increased too. He hopes something is done to make the area safer for him and his family. We reached out to Precinct 1 in Hidalgo County. They are looking into what they can do for the intersection. They tell us they plan to fix the lights on Monday. Live in the Channel 5 News studio, Stephen Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 10.